And here we are with the Friday focus again. Okay, so today's focus is muscle soreness. So we got a lot of questions in on uh, people asking questions about when they're sore after training, can they still train, what does it mean? So we've broke it down, we've got four separate questions, so I'm gonna try and answer all them questions in the video. Uh, now, this has the potential to be a long video, but I'm gonna try and keep it as short as I possibly can. Okay, so first of all, uh, that's soreness that people talk, so we get questions in people saying muscle soreness, what about muscle soreness, muscle soreness. So that muscle soreness is actually called uh, DOMS. It's delayed onset of muscle soreness. And you usually get this six to eight hours after your training session. Now I honestly swear, I think I've got DOMS during some training sessions, like literally in the session, uh, with some tough leg sessions and stuff like that. And it usually peaks around 48 hours, so that's that feeling you always hear people say, oh it wasn't too bad the next day, but the day after, holy shit, it was bad. Um, and that's what it is, it's delayed onset of muscle soreness. Okay, so a couple of questions around that. Uh, we had a question in, does stretching minimize delayed onset of muscle soreness? Uh, the short answer is um, no, it doesn't uh, minimize delayed onset of muscle soreness. Um, think of delayed onset of muscle soreness as little micro trauma to your muscle um, and then it's the body's inflammation response that uh, causes the pain, okay, or, or whatever pain you feel, okay? They're not, uh, that's like, the most up-to-date uh, explanation of delayed onset muscle soreness. For many years, they thought it was lactic acid uh, buildup in the muscle and stuff like that. But just think of it as uh, min miniature uh, trauma to the muscle tissue and then an inflammation response in the body that's causing the pain. Uh, can I still train with muscle soreness? Or what's the best way to train with muscle soreness? So, the best way to train is just train as normal. Generally, what you'll find with the late onset of muscle soreness is after you do uh, a reasonably good uh, five to eight, 10 minute warm up, and you get some, uh, you raise the core temperature and you get some blood flow going in the body, you'll usually notice that the delayed on, or that the, the muscle soreness will actually uh, minimize and then go away throughout the session. So, yes, you can still train. Um, just make sure you do a good warm up and you'll notice, as I said, the pain will go. Um, best way to get rid of DOMS. So, the best way to get rid of delayed onset muscle soreness um, is obviously time, but you can speed up the process by trying to get as much new fluid and new blood to the area as possible. So, simple techniques like a hot and cold shower, contrast showers. This is something that I've been doing um, a lot. Uh, over the start of the past month and a half is where I'll get into the shower, I'll do a minute cold water, then I'll do warm water for 30 seconds, then cold water 30 seconds, warm water 30 seconds, repeat that three times, then I'll, I'll do whatever I have to do in the shower, have a wash and whatever, it might take five minutes in the warm and then I usually finish with like a minute in the cold as well. So that's like causing a flush uh, in the muscle tissue, of blood in, blood out, and that's gonna help heal um, any sort of muscular damage or micro trauma to the muscle tissues. Um, okay, the last one then. Does being more sore after training mean that I'm getting bigger? Um, there would be a casual link between DOMS and muscle hypertrophy, so muscle size. Um, but again, it's not the be all and end all, and there can be a point of diminishing returns there where you, uh, you affect your, the productivity of your next workout, you affect power output in the next workout, and you probably can't train that muscle part uh, again for a good few days after that. So it's, it's not a huge indicator um, of muscular hypertrophy. Um, so I would tend to, uh, you know, don't judge um, the quality of a training session um, or how hard you worked in that training session um, by how sore you were after. Um, as I said, it's, it's, it's literally a casual link between um, muscular pain and muscular hypertrophy. Um, so guys, as usual, uh, any questions you have and you want answered on the Friday Focus, please send them in. We will definitely get them answered and we'll see you next week.